Have you been wanting to learn how to make your own daily printable planner? Or you want to start your own digital download Etsy shop or website, but you weren't sure how to create a basic daily planner? Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to make a basic printable daily planner page. And once you start creating them, you'll be hooked. And you'll have a fabulous digital product that you can sell. So stick around for this video and learn about another amazing thing you can do with Canva. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you won't miss a weekly tutorial. make a basic daily planner, the first thing you'll need to do is decide what size you want to make. A5 is 5.83 inches by 8.27 inches or a standard paper size of 8.5 by 11 inches. From the home page, go to custom size and change the setting from pixel to inches and then put in your size and then click create new design. For our tutorial today, we're going to create an 8.5 by 11 inch planner page. If this is your first planner, I highly recommend sketching out your planner ideas on a sheet of paper before you dive in. If you need inspiration, Canva has time of templates that you can look through or pop over to Etsy or Amazon and take a look at the planner pages there. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a guide and pull it to the middle of my page. And you'll know it's the middle because it will turn purple. A daily planner is really a series of lines and shapes. So we're going to start by going to elements and we're going to select a line. Let's move the line up to where that we want our first line to be. And we're going to put it right on the edge of the margin and we're going to stretch it over to the middle guide. Now to change the size of your line, which is called the line weight, you're going to go to this button and grab this little circle and slide it down to whatever size you want your line to be. With these buttons here, you can change the look of your line. Today, we're just going to make a standard straight line. So now that we have our line in place and we have it the size that we want it, we're just going to hit Control D to duplicate it as many times as you want right there. And then we're going to place the bottom line where we want it to go. Then we will highlight all of the lines, go to position and tidy up. Now you can see that that it moved the lines over the middle guide. So just grab hold of it while it's all selected and scoot it over to where you want it to go. And you have your first set of lines. Now I like to add boxes. So I'm gonna go to lines and shapes and click see all. You can use any of these shapes that you want. I'm gonna use a standard square and add it to my artboard. And then I'm gonna pull it up close to these lines, but not right on the line. And I'm gonna stretch it, pull it down just a little bit and pull it over to where it meets the middle guide bar. Then I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to select these lines so I can make another set and then I'm going to pull those below that box. Now down here I want to add some tracker buttons for things to track the day and I'm going to pick a shape and I'm going to pull it down to where I want the first one and shrink it down and then control D to duplicate it. Scoot it over, control D, oh, and it came out perfect. Perfect. Then I want to take up one line, control D, and I want to set it right on top of those. So I'll have to zoom in to make it easier for me to see. And then I'm going to select all of these, go to position, and tidy up. And it puts them all right where I want them to be, up against that line, and equally spaced. It looks like it left just a little bit of room, and I'll just pull it down right on top so that I have a line for my title. Now I want to create a to-do list on this side. So I'm going to select these lines and I'm going to control D. You can line up the lines, but I like to kind of slide them so they're a little different. And I want 10 lines. So while I have these still selected, I'm going to control D again. And then I'm going to pull this below there. I'm going to select all of these, go to position and tidy up so that they're all equally spaced. Then I'm going to group them and I'm going to lock them in place. Now I'm going to go back over to the elements 
elements and I'm going to select the circle outline and I'm going to shrink this down, pull it up to the line where I want the first circle to go so that I have the circle that you can check off. My first line will be the title line. Let me just scoot this down just a little bit and then control D and we're going to scoot that right below it for the next line and then control D, pull it down just a bit, control D, control D and duplicate a circle for each line. Now, with these locked in place, oh, they didn't lock, they are locked. Okay, so now we're gonna select all of the circles, go to position, and click tidy up. And we're gonna group those, and it kind of set them all on that the bottom of the line. So let's zoom in just a tad, and we will scoot them up just a smidge. So it looks like it didn't line them up very well. Let's ungroup these. Mm. <laughs> Just slide that up a little bit. Now, I think I've got them all pretty equal, but let's go back and select them again, go to position and tidy up. And now they're all where I want them to be and equally spaced. So now I want to create um, a little note set where I can put some more lines. So I'm going to select these lines, control D, and I'm gonna pull this over here below our to-do list. And while it's still selected, control D again, and I will pull it up underneath there. And then I'm going to select all of these lines, go back to position, tidy up, so they're all equally spaced. And then down here, I want to add another square box. So I'm gonna go back to this one and control D and scoot this down where I want it. And I'll pull this down just below that last line. And I kind of want a little space in between these two. So I'm going to scoot it over off that middle line just a smidge. And I'm going to pull this guide back out of the way. So now let's zoom back out. We can see our page and we have the basics of our daily planner page. And I do want one line for the date. So I will select that line and control D and pull this up so now for the fun stuff, we're going to add our titles, colors, and any decorative touches you want to add. So starting out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these lines and I'm going to group them together. Then I'm going to go back and select this set of lines and group them together. I'll go down here and group this line and these elements, and then I will select these these lines and group them together. That way, when we start putting in titles or graphics or whatever else we want to put, we don't pull a line out of place because at this point, trying to get it back just right is a pain. It can be done, but it's a pain. So we're going to start with colors and I want to choose my theme so I can match up my color scheme. And I'm going to go to my graphics folders. I already kind of know which graphics I want to add and I want my planner page to match the color scheme and I have these little teddy bears so I'm going to add them shrink it down and I'm going to pull it to the top set him up here kind of straighten him out a little bit shrink him down and then I'm going to add this one zoom in get him over just a smidge Bring this little guy back over a little bit, straighten him out. We'll send this one to the back. You may not have to zoom in as much as I do, um, and that will, you know, save you a little time, but I like to be able to really see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put her here. I'm going to send her backwards, scoot her up, and then scoot him back. Okay, I want to make sure that the two in the back, that their bottom feet, bottom of their feet are lined up. That's pretty close. It's good enough. Guide bar back out of the way. Zoom back out. So for my first, the first place I want to add a color is in this box. So I'll select the box, go to the color button, and you can see that Canva has already added my photo colors. So I'm going to select this option and see down here it says change all. So it's going to change everything that's green to this color and it does it quickly and easily. Now if 
if this color seems a little dark to you that you may not be able to see when you write on it, then what you can do is go up to transparency and lighten it up to whatever you want. And you want to take note of whatever number you have up here in transparency and apply that to this box as well. But for now, this color is fine, so we'll just leave it the way it is. And I actually think I want to change these three boxes, these three elements to a different color. So we'll go to the color and change them. Now we'll start adding our titles. So go to text and you can just add a text box and you can put up here whatever you want to call it and you can shrink it down, kind of, you know, make the box wherever you want it. Change the font and I'm going to choose the hungry chalk and then I'm going to make it bigger, too big, and you just kind of, you know, fiddle with it until you get it the way you want it. And then I'm going to close in that line spacing there and go to the color box and let's add a color. That seems just a little bit light. So go to effects and shadow and we'll add this color, bring it in. So I like that color scheme. What I'm going to do is I'm going to control D for my next title and I'm going to Type in what I want it to say, bring it down here where I want it, kind of. And then I'm going to choose my font, zoom in, and I'm going to place this right on that line. And sometimes it can be a little difficult. The closer you zoom in, the more control you have right there. And while I'm here and I can see the gap in the letters, I want to just tighten that up. That works and it matches. So we will control D and then pull this here. Change this to the left alignment. And change the title to what we want it to say. And control D. Make the next one. Pull it down to the next line and just continue to repeat this process. So you have them all the way you want them. So this will just move up here, set it right on that line, and then do. Let's zoom back out, and there's your daily planner. And then you can highlight these three and scoot them up just a little bit so that they kind of match up with the title. And if you wanted to add more decorations, you certainly can. Um, so let's add this little bear. Um, just add a couple more little decorations. If you all have followed me for any length of time, you know I love my graphics, so I add them all, you know, all the time, whenever I can. This one, duplicate him and, and add his balloon. Shoot, scroll back in. And there's my completed daily planner page. So I would download this. I would choose a JPEG. You can also choose a PDF, download it and print it or upload it to whatever site you want to use and sell it. But now you know how to create your very own planner page. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, please give it a like, tap the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Every like and subscribe helps my little channel grow. I've put a link for a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro in the description below so you can try it out and see if you love the Pro version too. I've also included a link to Creative Fabrica, my very favorite site to get graphics and font, and that is where my little bear graphics came from. You'll also find my free quick start guide to using Canva that also has links to 24 free, completely customizable social media templates, so definitely be sure to grab that. And if you have any questions about today's tutorial or Canva in general, please post those in the comments and I'll answer just as quickly as I can. I'll be back next week with another tutorial and until then, have a fabulous week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.